Hello students! If you need more examples for the applications and Venn diagrams, you watch this video. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Let's have the first example. If the cardinality of set A is 35 and the cardinality of set B is 60 and the cardinality for the intersection of sets A and B is 25, you are asked to find the cardinality for the union of set A and B. First, we have to draw the Venn diagram to show the relationship of our sets A and B. So we have this rectangle, which should be for the universal set. And inside the universal set, you would find two sets. We mark the two sets, or we name them set A and set B. Okay, so the blue circle would be for set A. The orange one would be for set B. So first... Um, we have to write um, the intersection, the cardinal intersection of the two sets, which is 25. So, bakit ito yung unahin natin? Okay, so that it would be easy uh, to find the cardinality for uh, set A only and set B only. Kasi itong mga nandito, pag sinasabing cardinality of set A is 35, ito yung sa buong circle ni set A dapat 35 siya. Okay? Ganun din sa cardinality of uh, set B. Itong sa buong circle ni uh, set B, pag i-add mo, dapat 60 elements siya. Okay? But they have 25 common elements. So, kailangan yun ang unahin natin. Ayan, 25. So, um, what would be added to 25 to get 35? Kasi 35 yung buong A, that would only be 10. Another way of doing that is just subtracting yung given na cardinality ni set A Subtract lang natin yan dito sa kanyang intersection. So, tanggalin na yun sa intersection kasi nakalagay na dyan. Okay? So, 35 minus 25 is 10. And then, for um, the cardinality of set B, it says there that it's 60. But you already have 25 here. So, ilan idadagdag kay 25 to get 60? That would be 35. Or, you could simply subtract 25 from 60. So, 60 minus 25 is 35. Okay? So, kita na natin dyan. Etong 10, this would be um, the elements that are in set A only. Okay? Yung 35, this would be the elements that are in set B only. Okay? Kasi, di ba, ibang region yan. Ibang region tong sa intersection nila. Ibang region din tong kay B only. Okay? Tapos si 25... Those are elements that are both in set A and in set B. Now, you are asked to find the cardinality for the union of these sets. Di ba kapag ka union of sets, you just have to uh, list down all the elements. But since cardinality siya, you just have to count all the elements of the set without um, repeating the same element. So, eto, wala nang umulit dyan, okay? Kasi inuna natin yung intersection eh. Okay, wala nang umulit dyan. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, i-add nyo lang siya lahat. So, therefore, the cardinality for the union of sets A and B would be 10 plus 25 plus 35. That will give you 70. Okay? This example or this problem is in your module, pero wala siyang solution. Okay? So, if you need the solution, this is it. Okay? Next example. If the cardinality of set B is 70 and the cardinality for the union of sets A and B is 115 and also the intersection of set A and B is 60, then what should be the cardinality of set A? So still we are dealing with two sets. Let's draw a Venn diagram for this. We label the um, rectangular region, uh, the universal set. Ayan, U. And then we have two sets. Say, yung um, blue, I see set A pa din. And then the orange circle would be for set B. So again, unahin natin isulat yung sa intersection nila na 60. So they have 60 common elements. Okay? So you can write that first. And then um, for set B, set B contains 70 elements. But since may 60 na, ayan, May 60 na. So, ano na lang ang ilalagay natin dito to make it 70? Okay? Or you could say 70 minus 60, yung part na, na intersect kay set A also. Ayan. So, tanggalin na natin yun kasi nandito na. Ilalagay ay 10. Now, how are we going to find um, 
the cardinality for set A. Pag cardinality of set A, ibig sabihin, kasama to si 60 plus etong kay set A only. Okay? Kasi cardinality of set A, lahat yan. Ayan. So, that is what we are looking for. So, paano siya gagawin? Okay? Ang union ng two sets natin ay 115. So, etong lahat daw, pag i-add mo kasama question mark, ay 115. Okay? So, let's write it like this. Ayan. Para mahanap yung cardinality ni set A, remember that given na ang um, union of the two sets is 115. So, 10 plus 60 plus itong question mark, dapat 115. Ayan, oh. So, dapat equal to 115 si 60 plus 10 plus yung question mark. Okay? So, pag we simplify, that would be 115 is equal to 70 that's equal to, I use this laser, ayan, it's equal to 70 plus yung question mark. So, what would be this question mark? What should be added to 70 to get 115? Okay? Or pwede ring 115 minus 70, eto na yung result niyan. So, that would be 45. Si 45 na ba ang hinahanap natin? No, hindi pa. Because 45 is the cardinality for set A only. Okay? Pero ito yung binanggit niya cardinality ni set A, buong set A. So, ang gagawin nyo, si 45, ito yung question mark, 45 na to, you add it to 60, you get 105. Right? So, it means to say that the cardinality for set A is 105. So, to check, okay? So, 105 yung kay set A, right? Itong buong set A. 105 yan. So, kung ang buong to ay 105, and then union of two sets, so 105 na tong buo, i-add mo lang yung kay B only, 105 plus 10 is 115. Ayan. Tama tayo dyan. Okay? So, it's as easy as that. Let's have the next example. We say in a university, 200 students are randomly selected to be asked about their drink preference. So that 200 students here would be your universal set, the cardinality of the universal set. Sila lahat yung tinanong. Okay? And then it was found that 140 students liked tea. Okay? So cardinality for those set who likes tea, people who likes tea, ay 140. 120 liked coffee. So the cardinality... For the set of people who liked coffee, I 120. And then, um, 80 students said they preferred both tea and coffee. So, cardinality for the um, intersection of the sets, tea and coffee. Okay, para sa mga students na gusto ng chaa, gusto rin ng kape, ang cardinality ay 80. So, 80 students yan. So, the question is, how many students like coffee only? And how many students don't drink any of these two? So, may mga studyante na ayaw ng kape, ayaw din ng tsaa. Baka milk yung gusto nila. Okay? So, eto, parang, ang hirap naman yan, ma'am. Ang hirap magbasa. Okay? So, uh, mahaba siya basahin. Okay? Kasi malalaki yung font niya. But if you're going to um, make a summary ng given sa problem na to. So, eto lang yung summary niya. Okay? So, what is this U? That would be the universal set. Okay? T stands for T. C stands for coffee. And then, we have T and coffee. Okay? So, panong basa nito? The cardinality for the universal set is 200. The cardinality for set T, which is those who like T, is 140. The cardinality for set C, which would be the group who loves coffee would be 120 and then the cardinality for the intersection of T and C so the group who would drink T and also coffee is 80 okay so we have two sets involved here so join mo natin yung ating universal set and then the two sets we could label that oops it's A and B but we could change that change natin kasi T na, na, T na yung gamit natin okay so this would be um set T Okay, this could be set T and then set C. Okay, so tanggalin na natin tong A kasi nagbago na yung names ng set natin. Okay, the intersection for our two sets is AT. And then we have 60 para dun kay set T. Okay, 
kay set T only. Bakit 60 siya, ma'am? Kasi sinabi dyan, the cardinality for set T is 140. So, dapat, uh, you find a number that when added to 80, kasi may 80 ka na dyan, sa intersection ni set T and set C. When you add to uh, 80, it would be equal to 140. So, yan ay 60. Okay? Or pwede nyo gawin, 140 minus 80 is 60. And then for set C only, etong dito, kasi sinabi 120 yung sa buong set C. So, anong i-add kay 80 to get 120? That would be 40. Or you could simply subtract 80 from um, 120. You would get 40. Okay? So, ang tanong dito, what were the questions? How many students like coffee only? Okay, so for coffee only, eto yon. Okay? Yung 40. Okay? That's for coffee only. And next question, how many don't drink any of this? Ilan daw ang hindi umiinom ng coffee tsaka tea? So, what are we going to do here? We add um, all the uh, elements ng two sets natin. So, that's 60 plus 80 is 140. Right? And 140 plus 40 is 180. So, 180 lang lahat yung sumagot ng tea or coffee or both tea and coffee. 180 lang lahat. But we had 200 respondents. Ayan o, 200 yung respondents natin. Ibig sabihin, okay, yung 200 na yan, yung 200, mamainasan natin dun sa 180. Okay? So, minus 180. So, bakit nag-minus ng 180, ma'am? Uh, kasi 180 yung mga gustong uminom ng coffee or tea or both coffee and tea. So, gusto nating malaman kung sino ang hindi umiinom nun. Okay? So, ilan ang hindi umiinom? 200 minus 180 is just 20. So, it means to say na may 20 students na hindi umiinom ng coffee or T. Okay? Let's move on to the next example. An advertising agency finds that of its 170 clients, 115 use television, 110 use radio, and 130 use magazines. Also, 85 use television and magazines, 75 use television and radio, 95 use radio and magazines, and 70 use all the three. So, you have to find how many use radio, how many use only television, okay? How many use television and magazine but not radio, okay? So, again, ang haba niya, but if you're going to write the summary of the given values here, it would just look like this, okay? So, where U is the universal set, T would be the set containing those who answered television, na um na ginagamit nila for the news yung iba yung R naman would be for those who use radio M for those uh, who uses magazines and then the intersection for the television and magazine users mga gumagamit ng television and magazine mga gumagamit ng television and radio gumagamit ng radio and magazine gumagamit ng tatlo nag TV na television na may magazine pa may radio pa Okay? So, ayan, mga cardinality nila, ayan, nakalista. Okay? So, let's start with our universal set. We have three sets here, right? The set um, for your uh, people who um, watch television, the set for those who watch radio, the set for those who watch, uh, who reads the magazine. Okay? Again, ulitin ko, set for those who, um, um, Make use of the television, set of those who um, make use of radio, and then a set of those who make use of magazine. So, we have three circles here. We label it. Say, yung blue one would be for the television people. Ayan, gumagamit ng television. And then, yung orange would be for those who make use of the radio. And then, the green one would those are those uh, who make use of the magazine. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung intersection ng tatlo. So, eto ang... Um, Ang shortcut nito or ang strategy in um, 
plotting or writing um, the elements of each of the sets and the intersection of the sets, ganon, okay? You start dun sa pinaka-bottom, okay? Sa intersection ng lahat, paakyat ka, okay? So, from 70, paakyat tayo dun sa taas. So, we Okay, so ilalagay na natin si 70 dito sa intersection ng three sets. So, ayan. So, ano si 70? Yan, 70. And then, we go up. Okay? Kasi, yun ang pinakamadali na gagawin. So, from bottom, paakit ka. Dun sa part na intersection ng tatlo, tas intersection ng tigdadalawa, and then, dun na sa uh, mga cardinality ng um, individual sets. So, dun tayo sa uh, next, um, intersection ng set R with set M. So, R with set M, 95. So, eto, yung, um, yung orange circle and yung green circle, dapat yung intersection nila would contain 95 elements. So, may 70 ka na dito. Part naman siya ng uh, magazine, set ng magazines, na mananood ng, <laughs> ng mga nag-gagamit ng magazines. And then, um, Part din siya ng mga nagamit din ng radio. So, idadagdag na lang natin actually dyan is 25. Okay? So, um, 90 plus, ano, 70 plus 25 is 95. Or you could uh, you could do um, subtraction like uh, 95, eto, 95 minus 70 would give you 25. Okay? So, um, next... For um, the intersection of set T and set R, so sa television and radio. So, may 70 ka na dito din sa television, ayan, tsaka sa radio, 75 sila. So, lalagyan na lang ng 5. Okay, 5 na lang yan. So, 70 plus 5 is 75. So, for the intersection for uh, the television and magazine, 85 elements daw yan. So, television, yung blue, magazine, yung green, may 70 na. So, ano idadagdag sa 70 to get 85? That would be 15, or you could say 85 minus 70 is 15. Pwede ka nun. Okay, dun tayo sa um, cardinality ng set M. M for magazine, okay? So, M daw, dapat 130 daw to. Pag i-add lahat ng nasa loob ni um, set M, 130. So, ilan na ba ang meron dito? We have 70 plus 25, that's 95. 95 plus 15 would be 110. So, dapat 130. So, idadagdag na lang natin ay 20, right? Or you could add all of this, it's 120, and then 120, you subtract it from 130. Okay? Tama ba? Okay? Now, this is one, 110. 110. 110 is subtract, okay? 130, you get 20. Okay? So, cardinality for set R is 110. So, itong buong to, dapat 110. Itong para sa um, set R, cardinality... Sa loob ng um, orange circle, so add natin, 70 plus 25 is 95, 95 plus 5 is 100, so dapat 110 daw. So therefore, ang kulang na lang dyan is 10. So etong 10, okay, eto yung mga radio only. etong 20, eto yung mga magazine only, yung ginagamit, okay, kasi wala sila dun sa intersection. So, mga bilang ng tao na magazine only, eto 20. Mga bilang ng tao na radio only, yung pinagkukuha na ng balita ay 10 only. Ay 10, I mean. Okay, tapos, um, we have, bakit siya sumulat? Okay, um, we have, uh, erase ko lang. Sumulat siya eh. <laughs> Ayan. Dito, for um, the cardinality ng um, set containing um, the elements na uh, television lang, ang ginagam na television rather, ang ginagamit nilang source for news. Ayan, meron na tayong add natin lahat to. 70 plus 5, 75. 75 plus 15, so that would be 90. So, yan ay 115 katao. So, yung 115, minusan mo lang ng 90, yun yung television only. Okay? That would be 25. So, pag i-add mo siya lahat, okay? 
25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 70 is 100. 100 plus 15 is 115. So, check. Okay? That is how to check kung tama yung ginawa natin. And then, for set R, add natin lahat. 70 plus 5, 75. 75 plus 25 is 100. 100 plus 10 is 110. So, tama din yan. Okay? For the set dun sa magazine, add natin lahat. That would be 70 plus 25, 95. 95 plus 15 is 110. 110 plus 20 is 130. Okay? Correct. Okay. Eto, na-check na natin to kanina. While um, writing the, um, the cardinalities dun sa ating mga intersection. So, we're ready now to answer the questions na hinihingi. So, ano itong mga questions for this? Okay? So, um, nakita nyo ba sa module nyo? Mga questions for uh, this problem? Yan. Pwede kayong nakabase dun sa module. And then, pagka ang tanong, how many um, um, watches television only? Uh, 25 lang yan. Radio only? 10 lang yan. Okay? Magazine only? 20 lang yan. Okay? Pag sinasabi, nanonood ng magazine or um, nagbabasa ng magazine, nanonood ng television, pero hindi nakikinig sa radyo, ilan yon, Okay? Nagbabasa ng magazine, eto, tas nanonood ng television din. Okay? Eto, dalawa. So, sa green and then sa blue. Okay? Pero sabi ay, hindi daw na kikinig ng radio. So, tanggalin natin tong sa orange. So, matitira ay itong 15. Okay? Ganun lang ang pagsasagot natin dyan. So, how about uh, ilan yung um, na kikinig sa radyo? Uh, nag, nakikinig sa radyo, nanonood ng TV, pero hindi nagbabasa ng magazine. So, nakikinig sa radyo. Ayan. Itong buo, ba? Diba? Nakikinig sa radyo at nanonood ng television. So, intersection ng two sets natin. Intersection ng etong sa orange circle and sa blue circle. Pero tanggalin daw yung part na nagbabasa ng magazine. etong sa green circle kasi hindi nagbabasa ng magazine yon. So, ang sagot dyan ay five people only. Okay? If you're going to add all of this, Okay, pwedeng kayo na ang gumawa. Ang total ay 170. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng in-interview uh, may sinagot dito sa tatlong sets. Okay, walang nagsabi na hindi ako nanood ng television, hindi ako nanood ng radyo, uh, hindi ako nakikinig ng radyo, hindi ako nagbabasa ng magazine. Wala, kasi kompleto yan 170. Okay, kung ito ay ginawang 180, ang universal set natin, then we can say na may sampung tao na... na um, Hindi na nanonood ng TV, hindi nakikinig ng radyo, hindi nagbabasa ng magazine. Baka ang ginawa ay sa uh, internet na lang kumukuha ng news. Okay? Ganun lang. So, this is um, how we um, answer problems related to uh, sets using uh, Venn diagrams. So, makikita nyo kung gaano ka-helpful. Kasi pag na-set up nyo na siya ng kompleto na, madali nang hanapin yung um, sagot sa mga tanong na... Uh, na binibigay. Okay? So, that's all. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.